Hey there guys, this is Joe with Sloppy Joe's Shred Check, and today I'm gonna talk about the cheapest and most effective modification that you can do to your Stratocaster. Let's see what I found out. Alright, so if you haven't seen my face before, welcome to the Shred Shack. My name is Joe, your host of the sloppiest guitar channel on YouTube. And if you've seen my face before, welcome back! It's good to have you. Now, like I was saying, definitely click subscribe, smash that bell notification, and follow me in all the upcoming videos. That'd make me feel good, and I like feeling really good. But anyways, let's get down to the nuts and bolts of this thing. Um, basically, it has to do with the tremolo arm on any Stratocaster, any kind of vintage style trem system, or probably any tremolo arm for that matter, Floyd Rose, or these you know classic little Fender ones here. It's a two dollar package of stuff. That's it, two bucks. Boom, done, game over. All of your modifications have been done. No, I'm just kidding. You're never done with your modifications, guys. You're never gonna be done. You're always gonna be chasing that tone and you're always gonna be wanting to make your guitar a little bit better. But this is the cheapest thing that you can do. So, all right, this is, you know, a little guitar that I'm borrowing from uh, Bruce from Good Times Music. So thanks again, Bruce, for letting me borrow this. Now, at the time of recording, Recording this video. This guitar is in the shop. It is used, but barely. There's not even a ding or mark on this thing, and it's selling for 550 bucks, just a standard Fender Stratocaster. But let me show you what I do with all of my trim systems to make them way, way better. All right, so I just kind of grabbed a random whammy bar here uh, off of, you know, any, any, you know, guitar that I had laying around. But what happens is when you spin this trim bar on, right? Right. Awesome. Now you can do, you know, you can dive down, you can do some subtle vibrato and different things like that. But what happens when you spin it all the way on and it's still wobbly? Or if you tighten it all the way down, it's in a really awkward position and you can't keep tightening it because you're going to strip it out. Or if you back it off, well, guess what? It just fell back into this really weird position that is very ineffective. What do you do in that case, right? Well, first off, we take this tremolo arm off and I'll show you the part that I'm gonna be putting into this. Now what this is, is a little spring and you can buy them for dirt cheap. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Nope, 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 there we go, come on. Back that up, back that thing up. All right, so what this is, is just a little spring that you drop into the little tremolo hole. Now this spring is, you know, you definitely have to have a little bit of a sturdier spring, but what it does is very simple and it's very, very effective. And I'll show it right here. So what I would do is I'd take this little spring and I would drop it right into that hole right there. All right, simple, modification over, it's done. May as well just end the video. But what happens when you do that, it, you can put your bar in any position now and you don't have to worry about it flopping around or doing anything. You know, if you wanna set it right there, you can set it right there. If you wanna set it right here, you can set it right here. Doesn't really honestly matter anymore. That spring keeps a up tension on this bar and keeps it nice and tight in this little, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I call it a hole, but who knows? You know, uh, tremolo, bar, cavity, sure, that's what we're gonna call it, the tremolo bar cavity. But all you do is you drop that spring in here and boom, problem solved, you now have you know, a really, really cheap and quick modification on your Stratocaster. Game over, very effective, and honestly, it's a great addition to any guitar with a vintage style tremolo system. I believe this would probably work in a Floyd Rose too. Now you don't wanna really crank it down or anything because you don't wanna squash or damage any parts, but you actually don't have to put this bar in very far and that tension from the spring will keep it nice and nice and tight in there for you so you can just set it wherever you want. And I got, I just kept the packaging here, but I got this for $1.99, you know, it's, a great 
great thing. Two bucks and I have solved all of my tremolo problems until I run out of springs, honestly. But you know what? You're probably not gonna lose these springs. And if you do happen to lose literally all of them for whatever godforsaken reason, they're very, very cheap. So anyways, if you like the content that I'm putting out, definitely, like I was saying, click subscribe and smash that bell notification. And now you can also hit me up on Facebook. Just type it into your browser, you silly goose. Or you can hit me up on Instagram at sloppy joes underscore shred check. But anyways, I'm Joe. That spring was a little modification that you can do to any vintage style, you know, Stratocaster or anything like that, or any, you know, tremolo for that matter. But anyways, later.